Hello there folks, and welcome back to Vinci Survival. It has been a while since I've been on here. And yet yeah, we're in January, we're in the depths of winter, it's just stopped snowing, and snow has settled over here. See, our corn is a bit frosty. However, it is time to chaff them, and we're going to be putting them into our fermenting silo. So one thing I want to do, first of all, is go to our productions, turn the chaff on, yeah, that's going to be a rapid production. And uh, yeah, we do have a slight modded trailer because any other means of using this is going to be very painful. And it's going to take a while to process all this, so... Yeah. It's going to the pipe. So yeah, this is going to take forever to complete. Because, yeah, if we look at our PDA, We've got all of this corn to deal with. And also, I also want to double check, saying if our crops are ready to harvest, or if I've done the harvests already. Yep, they're all ready to harvest. We need to possibly plant a crop in 88. But yeah, what I'll do is, I'll do that afterwards, and this could be all one big mega field. Or whether it be soybeans or whatever, I do not know. I yeah, also got a grass over there. We've still got our tree field over there so if you ever want a bit of money in that but yeah actually it's been more since I've been on about a week or so but yeah, this is going to take a bit of a while to do I'll admit but yeah it's one of those things and it is a bit slippery now as well just to go in the chapin yeah green cab getting slightly transitive now so we're gonna get that 5% yield bonus and just like to look at that. Just crashing and rolling them out. I think it was the header size on this, it's like 3 meters or. Yeah, it's gotta be like 3 meters or something like that. So, forged headers. Yeah, it's a 3 meter header on that, so. Yeah, something like this. Ladies feel that normally. For a bit more modernized. Yeah, we've used plenty of our four chargers in that, but it's written the late 80s, and it now is going to say like this. We do have options going forward in that, and I've been thinking on in terms with one not to continue on, and it's going to capture this bit quieter than that. And I think, to be honest, now, like I've made a community post that I mentioned in the last two videos I've just uploaded, of the mod review. For the last couple of days. Almost a bit of corn. As far as in my extensive Deadwood guide to the 23 like overpowered productions that took forever to do now, like 20 hours of testing, noting that to as short as possible now, but it still was like a almost three hour video and I was like entering it. First of all the share factor, I was like Fuck, this is going to be a long video now. But yeah, as I was saying, considering wrapping this up, yeah, we've still got a couple of episodes left now, I think. So I want to finish the year out, but to be honest, yeah, really, maybe you know, one or two more episodes, because yeah, we've got soybeans to do now. Still missing stuff, so. I should watch one work on I think for now and yeah. This is gonna be a long arduous task and yeah with well say with wrapping things up. Yeah, did think about doing a season two of Ninja Survival and I may still do a season two in that. But it just won't be immediate after we wrap this up because I'm gonna be wrapping this up, I'm gonna be wrapping up Ravenport in that because Technically, we've achieved our challenge of dominating the map, so now really I just need to focus on the countryside map, see how that does in that, so get more videos out on that series. But yeah, also I'm going to be doing a brand new challenge series on maybe most likely at the moment is Comston Farm, because we've got that personal plot areas and that creepy farm that. Yeah, one thing I want to do is do a shed snow cow pens and that, that has like a thousand cow capacity. I have like ten loose down. 
Also, I'm going to need pastures and that as well for the cows, for our calves and that, so... Yeah, that's going to be a large challenge, especially doing on console now. Oh uh, yeah, so using any like, unreasoned capacity mods that I like, but technically we're using at the moment. Yeah, I did think about using something else, but yeah, to be honest, I just want to get this done now, and rather than just absolutely a pain in the ass and dealing with the trailers and that, I thought I'll just stick with this now. 250,000 capacity, I think this is, so yeah, we're going to get a lot of size from it and because yeah that can process 480 no sorry yeah it's four forty eight thousand cycles per month so that is what 480 4.8 million years of traffic process within the month which is good to know and if we look at our prices of silage that is <coughs> At the moment, 3, 3, 8, 3, 4, 8, 3, 8, 3 at the forest dealer. And yeah, to be honest, we're at the max price now, so I want to get this done in January, but yeah, yeah it snows and that, so we may be going into February with this. But anyways, regardless, up and down like this, and then yeah, I'll start going closer and closer to the farming out. But yeah, regardless, still going to take us a while to do so. I think there's not much else to do apart from just get cracking on. So it's actually got a work on this already. Can we purchase a, another one of these? Yes, we can. So let's go with green. So go and purchase that. You want the green header in that. And also we'll go and purchase the trader. Because yeah, remember there's no leasing on this series. So yeah, we want that one there. And I want that sort of like, I guess it's going to be like a cloth green I think really. Yes, a very fainty green. No, don't dark metal green. Definitely not John Deere green. So yeah, yeah. You know what? Let's go with a class there. So that is twenty-five grand. That leaves us with just thirteen thousand. But at least now we can do this twice as quick. But yeah, that actually perfectly matches. So. So alright, they had a little minor issue there with it was a PS4 connection out to the internet, but anyways, as I was saying, this is gonna get done now at twice the rate, so we'll have to work her on one. We'll go and do this, so uh, the workers go start up north. And I think what we can do is start going down south now, so but yeah, so it's gonna be again Paris to do that because obviously on. Let's go to the camera, it is quite noisy in that. But yeah, it's going to be a bit difficult to do now because it's like, slipping in snow and that. But at the end of the day, I want to get this all done in that in this month and that. So let's double down, get the worker to continue on with that, and we'll do our part. So yeah, the worker can do the easy bit, and we can just do the more difficult bits of dealing with all the corners and that and all the soaps over here. And yeah, it's going to take us a while to do, but I think overall it's going to be worth it. So, let's get this done, and I'll see you folks afterwards once we are done here.
done. As you see, we sold some uh, or that, so yeah, it had just over two hours about or so on those four chargers. And yeah, having that second one really made a difference and it was back up. So yeah, we're all done. We've got half a million years off site here. And we've still got another 760,000 there and another 105,000 to process. So the price is starting to go down. So what I'm going to do is sell all this silage. So I'm going to show you so the first load. So the first half mil. And then I'm going to do the rest off camera and it'll reconvene in the morning. So there we go. At the forage dealer, and yeah, we're selling for about 370 at the moment per thousand there. So let's go and sell both of these. And yeah, best place to sell if you look at the prices once more 373 at forage dealer, and the average is about 355. That was 380 earlier on. And from that load, we got 186 grand. So you should get another, well, another, what, about 300 grand from the other loot, so yeah. Let me just get those sold, and then, yeah, we'll reconvene in the morning. Oops, a little bug there. And we'll figure out what we should do for a final year on Zilanka. There we go, we are done, so yeah, now we're at 700k, price offside just dropped, so yeah, it's a good thing we made good on that. Also, you may notice we technically swapped out our big tractors because I accidentally uninstalled the mods, or mods I was using, or thought I was using, and one of them was Steigers and that, couldn't remember which Steiger it was, and I went with the cheapest one, I think. But I couldn't remember for sure, but I've got a case one here, and it's a similar price. So yeah, if we went with the cheaper Steiger, and that was about 70 grand, plus a bit of an extra 5 grand for all of the work bits on it. Oh yeah, I've got the bits on fold. And yeah, if that's the case then... Yeah... Well, I thought, yeah, this will compensate it. Yeah, it's, it's value for value, it's cost about 75 grand with all the extra bits. Similar to how much the cheapest Steiger, like non K Steiger branded one would have costed. So, anyways, <coughs> still my fruit there. And yeah, I think we'll finish off the episode here by just doing the cultivating because, yeah, I thought about doing grass and all that weather, but I'm just going to do oats and sorghum or oats, wheat, weather, something like that for the end of the year, for this year. And with that, we get a nice bit of straw, we'll bake it get some straw bells. Also, we'll have a bit, so one is to have animal feet. we we'll also mainly here by just selling a bunch of flowers, so yeah, maybe it's going to be like the penultimate episode or third to last episode, where like, next time we'll get all this sorted, get this field cultivated up. I think it takes too long, I do think, to be fair on that, so Especially with the keys here and that. So chug on for that. Back to some tunes now or something. Yeah, we'll get this done. And then, yeah, get the wheat in. Get out harvested. And then, yeah, not the wheat or the oats or whatever. Yeah, I need to look at the times and that of when it's going to grow. But as long as we can get two green crops between now and December, so we have time to process it into flour. That I'll be happy with. But yeah, it's still technically free swapping that. Not too bad. Oops. Got a bit off skew there. Again, that's the downside of using swivel axle tractors, that. But anywho, I think that's where I'll leave it today. So next time we'll continue on this. And yeah, so I think what I'll do is I'll go and record some back to back episodes and that. This will come out hopefully on Friday, and the other one will be up on 
Sunday or Monday in that. But anyways, that's what we're going to do for today. And as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash the button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share with some, please be my guest. If you're not, subscribe to the channel yet, then please consider Budream. And I'll see you all very soon.